Okay, so let's start the blower door depressurization testing. We're going to turn this fan on and, and blow air out through the fan, depressurizing the home and, and sucking air in through all the cracks and gaps and leaks. So you can see by the pressure on this fabric that we have a negative pressure inside the home. So we'll use our infrared camera technology to go and look for some air leakage locations. So here we go with a, quite a significant amount of air leakage happening at the bottom of this back entrance door. And that was one of the things you identified? It was, yeah. And we can have a look at these windows. And you can see from the thermal imaging that the, the windows have quite significant cold spots and that's normal, um, but to what degree it varies depending on the window and the age. Um, but I don't see any very significant air leakage. So we're looking at the attic hatch for this home, um, and here we see again those wisping patterns that are a telltale of air leakage. So some simple weather stripping uh, around the attic hatch would probably have a significant impact to the air leakage of this home. So let's go have a look at the basement. So one place we'll often look for air leakage locations is where there's penetrations through the home. Uh, commonly you find these in the rim joist or the, the joist ends at the top of the foundation wall. Here we can see some, some very dark um, colors in this image that indicate a much colder temperature and there could be some air leakage there. I'm also noticing that there's no insulation in this location. That would be an easy thing to do to upgrade. 